Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on linear arrangement. Here the given problem is A, B, C, D, E, F and G are sitting in a straight line not necessary in the same order facing north. E sits third to the right of A. E sits second to the left of F. Only one person sits between B and G. Neither G nor B is an immediate neighbor of F. C is not an immediate neighbor of either B or F. Question is who sits at the extreme left end of the line? G, D, E or B. Here only one question is given friends but in the actual examination generally 3, 4 or 5 questions are asked on this given information. So let's first let us learn how to analyze the given information. There are 7 persons A, B, C, D, E, F and G. They are sitting in a straight line facing the north. Now let us go statement wise. First statement is E sits third to the right of A. E sits third to the right of A. This is A. This is the right side of A and this is the left side of A. E sits third. 1, 2, 3. So E sits third to the right of A. Okay. Next statement is E sits second to the left of F. E is E sits second to the left of F. It means F will occupy this position. So E sits second to the left because this is the left side of F. 1, 2. E sits second to the left of F. Okay. Only one person sits between B and G. But here it is not clear what position will be occupied by G and B. So let us underline this. We will consider this statement afterwards after getting some more information. Okay. Let us go next statement. Neither G nor B is an immediate neighbor of F. This is F. B and G is neither B, neither G nor B is an immediate neighbor of F. So G and B they cannot occupy this position or this position. So in any case G and B they cannot occupy this position because they cannot be neighbor of F. Miss just we assumed let us say one more chair is here. Okay. Next is C is not an immediate neighbor of either B or F. C is not an immediate neighbor of B or F. So F is here. So C cannot occupy this position also. But where is the position of B? It is not clear. So let us underline this. So C cannot occupy this position and C is not immediate neighbor of B. This we underline. So two statements are being underlined and remaining things are being incorporated here. So let us read these two statements again. Only one person sits between G and B. Okay. If we say G and B will occupy this position because one person sits between them. But it is very clear G and B cannot be neighbor of F. So G and B cannot occupy this position. G and B cannot be neighbor because one person is there between them. This position also cannot be occupied by G and B because G and B cannot occupy this position. So only option is this chair is not here. This cha chair will go to the extreme left side and these two will be occupied by B and G. But again question is whether here B will be there or G will be here. So just let us see again. C is not an immediate neighbor of either B or F. C is not an immediate neighbor of B or F. C will not occupy this position. C only option here these two position will be occupied B and G and only position left for C is this one. C will occupy this position but C cannot be a neighbor of B. So B cannot occupy this position. C will occupy this but B cannot occupy this position. It means B will occupy this position and this position will be occupied by G. Only one person is left that is D. D will occupy this position. So position of all the seven person 
are being fixed b a g c e d and f these are the position of seven persons now you can answer the question who sits at the extreme left end of the line this is the extreme left and extreme left is sitting b so answer is b <laughs> thank you very much friends for watching this video you can also follow me on 